Ominous, did it work? Did, did it work? Today, I attempt to flash this Lucky Miner LV8 with a Bitax firmware. While this sounds easy, we're gonna need some preparation work first. So um, I found this um, helpful guide online about how to connect to the um, Lucky Miner. Um, there's no USB port, so you have to make a connection with these wires and this um, UART connector. Now I've never done anything like this before, so this is all completely new to me, um, but luckily guide was really helpful. I'll leave a link in the description to this. Uh, I've not really used GitHub, uh, but what you're gonna need is UART connector. You're gonna need the wires to connect to the Lucky Miner, and you're also gonna need some sort of Python and use the Bitax tool to flash it. Now, believe it or not, connecting it is the easy part. Um, so, you know, it goes through how to connect it, what you need to do to make it open up. And once that's done, then you can use Python and like Linux to actually get it connected. And we can use the Bitax tool because it's very good at connecting to the ESP32, which is that chip there. Now, I'm not gonna go through the process of actually how to do it because I've only just learned this as well and I do not understand it enough to show you, but I did have some issues connecting it first, but eventually it did connect. Um, the firmware was all on the GitHub as well. And once it connected, it just started flashing. And like, that was it. it, it that was actually the hardest part was getting it to connect and the, um, the config settings. But once that was all set up, it was pretty straightforward. Now, once it flashed, I reset it and put the device back together and it did boot up with no issues. So, you know, this is getting ready and I'm thinking, oh, something's gone wrong here. But no, it, jar it just started and it did get up to speed at about, you know, four terahashes hashes a second. Now you might be asking why I didn't go into too much detail and it's because I've never filmed anything like this before and it was just so difficult to get the uh, footage so close up and honestly um, I'm not like an all-in-one guide but I do recommend following that guide. I'll leave a link to it in the description because it is very super helpful um, and it did go by step by step. You will need a couple of guides and if you get lost, there is always ChatGPT. It is very good at guiding you through a process like step by step. So that is how I've learned to like use Linux and how to use this Python stuff. I've never touched it before in my life before. Uh, so, you know, it is extremely um, a useful tool. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. I know the video has changed. Um, if you do want to watch this video, this is one of my coin videos on the four generations of Royals. So uh, yeah, a nice plug there for my, my other channel. <laughs> Take it easy and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.